Hello friends, good morning. Um, yes, I just woke up uh, maybe like half an hour ago. I haven't even done my hair. My hair looks crazy, yes. Please pardon the craziness. But anyways, <laughs> for today's video, as you guys can see, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a quick makeup routine only using five products on your face, okay? Now let me explain. This is kind of what I do, yes, when I'm on the go, when I'm like kind of hurrying up a little bit, but um, the main thing here is that I don't wanna use a lot of products, okay? Maybe like you're just on the go, maybe you're on vacation and um, you're just going out really quick or something, or you don't wanna pack a lot of makeup, so you wanna do something that's very, day, like something that's everyday, natural, glowy, bronzy, but not using too many products. I'm gonna show you how to use products, um, not just for the things that they are supposed to be for, but for other things in your face, okay? And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do if I'm only using five products on my face, okay? I don't know if I wanna zoom in because you'll see a lot more of the imperfections. I'll zoom in just a little bit, okay? Wow, my hair is a hot mess right now. That's it, that, that's all, I'm not zooming in anymore. <laughs> all right, little disclaimer. I already have my eyebrows. And the reason why I'm not including my eyebrow products in my list is because maybe some of you guys don't wanna do your eyebrows and it's okay. It's okay that you don't wanna do your eyebrows. But I do, like this is something that's a staple for me every single day. So that's why it's not included in my five products because you honestly don't necessarily have to. And I know some of you don't really care to fill in your, your brows, you know, when you're on the go. But for me it is, so I already did it and it's not part of my five. If you want to include it, then it'll, it, you know, then this look will be six products and not five. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So first thing is foundation or coverage on your face. I'm not going to be using concealer. Some people don't necessarily use concealer every day. I do. I want to conceal a lot because I have a lot of freckles. I have like dark circles. I have uneven skin tones, all that good stuff. But the concealer that we're going to be using, not the concealer, the foundation we're going to be using is the Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation by Maybelline. And I am in the color 312 Golden. Okay, that's what it's called, Golden. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some moisturizer. This is not considered a makeup item. So this is like, you should be carrying this regardless if you don't wanna carry a lot of makeup at all. So, um, so that's why for me, this is essential. This is not like part of the five, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put some moisturizer on my face. All right, we're good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the foundation. And I am gonna use the little um, sponge that comes with it because I feel like I get a lot of coverage with this, all right? More than an actual brush, you're gonna see. Look at that coverage already. So this half has the foundation and this half does not. So no foundation. Yes, foundation. All right, other side. All right, there we go, that's foundation right there. Next step is our bronzer, okay? So for the next, um, so for my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It's one of my favorites. I might need to get one soon because look at that. All right, I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and we're going to bronze the face. Again, I'm gonna show you how it looks in one side, bronzed, as opposed to not bronzing or having a non-bronzed face. So I go up here, I'm just going to where pretty much the sun would hit me and just creating shadows to look, yeah, bronzed. Mm -hmm. 
So can you see the difference between between a bronze face and a non-bronze face? You see how you're adding dimension? Like over here, it looks very, very flat, right? Like our faces are not really flat. They have dimensions, they have highlights, they have shadows, okay? They have creases. So that's what you're trying to accentuate, all right? So you see, bronze face, and now we're gonna do the other side. So I was taught to do like a number three on your face, right? So you start from here and you go to the cheekbone and you go all the way down. That's a good way to remember how to do your bronzer. You can also go ahead and put more on your cheeks because we're not gonna use a blush, okay? So this is gonna be in our, br our blush. We're gonna be looking very natural, okay? All right, our next item is going to be our highlight. So this is very key because it's gonna make you look glowy, but not necessarily look like you got makeup on, all right? So I'm gonna use the Prosecco Pop Highlighter by Becca. This is one of my favorites and it's golden. Love it. Get a highlighting brush. We're gonna dip in there and we're gonna go into the highlight high point of our cheeks. Look at that. You see how subtle it is, but this step is so worth it because it really takes your natural makeup to like a different level. Look at this. Nose, the bridge of our nose, the tip of our nose, cubics bow right here, other side, then we're going to add some up here just like where the natural point of the face where the sun would hit, okay? So just the point where the sun would hit. All right. Now we're gonna do our eyes. Now here's the deal, since we're only using five products, we're gonna be using our bronzer and our highlight on our eyes, okay? So for our bronzer, we're gonna take, doo -doo 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 -doo. we have fluffy brush, fluffy brush, and we're gonna go into our bronzer, and we're gonna put some on our crease. This look is gonna be very cohesive because all the colors are gonna go and also more natural, okay? I'm gonna add some shadow here in the bottom of the lash line. It's like barely there, right? But it still looks like you got a little something, something. All right, next we're going to go back with our highlight and with that same brush. If you still have product on your brush, use that. If not, you can go ahead and dip it again into your highlight. And we're gonna do just a small layer on top to give our lids some glow, right? And then lastly, maybe with your finger, you're gonna put some, a little bit on your lid to give it some golden color to them. I think I want more bronzer. I want more color on the crease. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh wait, not this one. What am I doing? Huh? Then we're gonna get a really small, small brush, something like this. Go into our highlight and just do our inner corners, just like that. How pretty. Next we're gonna put on some lipstick and this is um, the L'Oreal, one of my favorites. Color Rich Shine in 900, um, in 900 Glossy Fawn. Look how beautiful this color is. It's natural and glossy. So you can tell you have lipstick or lip gloss on, but it's so natural that it goes. 
All right, and lastly, our product number five is our mascara. I am not leaving my house, especially on a vacation, without mascara. And if I'm going to the beach, it's gonna be waterproof mascara. All right? So this one I'm using my favorites um, lately, which is a superhero um, mascara by IT Cosmetics. And this right here, I mean, like you can go to town with this mascara because it's gonna give it that natural makeup look but my lashes are still there and rocking it. <laughs> Don't forget about the lower lash line. Makes a difference, let me tell you. So at this point, if you still have room in your makeup bag and you do wanna add one more thing, I would do a setting spray because you want this to last all day. See, so that didn't take long at all and you only use five products. So you use your foundation, your bronzer, your highlight, your mascara, and your lipstick. That's it. And you look like this. <laughs> All right guys, that's about it. So I love this look. I mean, again, you can probably even go to the beach with this look, I'm just saying. And you still look natural. You know how like sometimes you wanna um, put a little bit of makeup but not look like you went full glam, like a lot of makeup on and you look like you're going to a wedding? No, like this is very simple, to the point, accentuating like, you know, the right areas to make your makeup look natural. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys try this look and how it comes out. And what are your essentials? Like, what if you're like, okay, I can't do five, maybe like my sixth or like my seventh products product, what would you add to this to make it essential? You know, like if you have a little bit more room in your makeup bag, like what one or two more items would you add? For me, just, I mean, I was, I was trying to keep it below five items. That's why I only chose those. But for me, my next, my next two items would have to be a setting spray because you want that to last the whole day and a concealer. I mean like underneath the eyes, just give it a little more dimension and all that. But yeah guys, that's about it. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Blessings, bye. Hello guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really and truly does mean the world to me that you guys take the time out of your busy schedule, your busy day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. I have a few messages for you guys. It won't take long at all, I promise. So number one, if you have Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional slash Bible study anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, not too long, but something that you guys can listen to throughout the day just to get you connected with the Lord and with His Word. Scroll all the way down and there is a link to my Instagram so you can go ahead and follow me. Number two, if you didn't know, I accept prayer requests. Me and my family have seen the power of prayer in our lives and we wanna go ahead and share that with you guys. So if there's anything that you're going through that you want us to pray for, just let me know. Just go ahead and contact me in any way, shape or form, either through a comment below, through an email, through a private message, any way you feel comfortable with and we will go ahead and add you to our prayer list. A prayer list that we pray for as a family every single day. And number three, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. We have so much fun here. We talk about beauty, we talk about fashion, I've even done some recipes. I talk about my life, I talk about my kids, why I homeschool, and most importantly, I do a lot of biblical content as well. So if that is something that you wanna join and are interested in, go ahead and join our family by subscribing. All right, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.